you know, for them, for themselves, and for us is the, the two players in Mickey and Martin. Are there things that Andrew did well that maybe the stat sheet didn't show against Florida? Well, I mean, I, I think that he, he played a pretty good floor game uh, for the most part. Just wasn't as aggressive as he was the game prior. Um, we need that from him. We need that energy. I really believe that our team feeds off of him uh, energy-wise on both sides of the ball, not only in transition pushing it, but with great ball pressure on the defensive end. Do you think teams like Florida and LSU teams that beat you guys last year come into this year with more confidence knowing that they can and have beat you guys in the past? I, you'd have to ask them that question. Um, there were a lot of teams that beat us last year, and we just played well at the end of the year. But um, it, all these teams are different now. I mean, you take Florida, they had a veteran team last year, you know, kids that played together for, you know, four years. Um, I think with this LSU team, uh, you know, they lost Johnny O'Brien, which was, you know, their best player last year, and they were even bigger last year playing Martin at the three with O'Brien and Mickey in the, in the lineup. So LSU's different. Um, uh, the LSU's pushing the ball a little bit more this year. But uh, everything changes. We're a different team this year than we were last year. So I really I wouldn't read too much into that. Now, what, what kind of a luxury is it for any coach to have a lot of options to try? I never had any. That's why I got fired. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's great. I mean. It's good on a couple of different fronts. One, you know, if someone's not playing well, you can go to, to another player um, and have a backup. And that's the luxury that we do have. Um, if you're not bringing it every day and you're not bringing it every, every night in, during games, uh, um, we're going to go to somebody else. Coach is going to do that. And these kids know that. Um, and that's why our, our practices have been so good, because they've all been competitive. And, uh, you know, if you take a day off, uh, in practice, it really shows, and it shows that maybe someone else uh, deserves deserves that slot. Where's Trey bringing? You guys are missing right now without him. Well, he brings you a six ten skilled player uh, that can be a matchup issue for the other team uh, because he can play three, he can play four. Um, just a skilled player. Uh, you know, we've gotten by without him. Um, you know, he's he. He's going to get you some rebounds. He's going to make. He can shoot the jump shot. Um, he can put the ball on the floor, and he's 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 a he's a matchup problem like Darius Miller was, and uh, you know he's he's bigger than Darius. But that was always the thing with Darius that you know if you played him at the three, it was smaller. You could go buy a bigger four. So just uh, uh, matchups. Is there a previous opponent, John, that reminds you of? Uh, Mickey and Martin and the challenges they Probably a little bit like Kansas, they're bigs. Um, although, probably, you know, size wise, but these two kids can both shoot the ball. Uh, they're very, very effective from 17 feet and in. Not prolific three point shooters. Uh, Martin will shoot a couple a game, but from 17 and in, they're really, really good. They're really, really effective and shoot a high percentage um, at that range. So that, that, that's different. I mean, they can play high-low and play some post-up game, but yet they can catch, turn, and face out in the perimeter and be able to shoot the basketball. Is there any added challenge to facing one of these road environments you just did it two days ago? No, I mean, I've been here six years, and every game that we've been on the road has been the same way, except last year when we went to LSU and it was the ice storm. Um, they're, they're always sold out. And I think this is the first sellout there since 2006. They're excited for it. And, and I think our, our kids, you know, like playing on the road, some too. And, uh, you know, so far they've done a pretty good job on the road. Is Johnny hitting his stride right now, Carl? He's playing with confidence. Um, the thing that impresses us the most is that he's coming up with tough plays, tough rebounds, second chance points, uh, being a little stronger in the post. Uh, not settling for, for fadeaways and weak shots. Uh, you know, last game against Florida was a bonus when he was hitting that 15, 17 footer. But when he shot those shots, he was aggressive. He jumped on them. They weren't tippy toe shots. And, uh, and he had it going and knocked down his free throws. John, you guys get to hurt the other team inside. You can have with the Devin 
especially today on the, from the perimeter also. How, how does a shot blocker like Mickey maybe impact? Uh, he can protect the basket and the other guys can stay closer to the shooters? Uh, well, it's a little bit like us. Um, we're just not blocking as many shots as, as we have been earlier in the year. We don't know why that is, but we need to get back to it. But one thing you can't do uh, against a shot blocker is, ch is change your game. Um, you have to be aggressive in taking it to the basket and uh, you know play through contact. But he, ha he has an extraordinary talent. Uh, you can tell that. And not only does he block shots, but he keeps them in play for the most part, too. How would you describe this team? Well, you know, obviously we're really happy with the win at Florida. Um, we were off yesterday, so we're just getting ready to go back and practice now. So this is our first practice since uh, the game. They've been really level-headed all year. Uh, doesn't seem like a whole lot affects them. Um, we're going to put in a great game plan today for LSU tomorrow. Practice, get on the plane and go down and um, get ready to play tomorrow. John, you mentioned that uh, they've got uh opponents are getting to the rim more and scoring, finishing more. And you have your shot blockers, of course, in the size. Well, you you well Flor Flor Florida was a little different. They, they really, really spread the court. And, you know, you could tell watching the film afterwards that, that was their game plan. Our guards have to do a better job of not letting them get straight line drives to the goal, uh, sort of playing them on their side a little bit. And, um, you know, being spread out, it's, it's tougher to shot block. Uh, you know, we'd rather you know drive the ball to the rim than than shoot shoot three point shots. Uh, but we'll get back after that, I'm sure. What about a horn speed? What sort of threat is he from that? Well, I'm really impressed with him. I know he transferred from Asheville. Um, when we played down there last year, he was out on the court. You guys probably saw it as well. He worked out for an hour and a half prior to the game. Uh, he brings them a toughness. Um, he plays really, really hard, and that's an overused term, but it just seems even watching the film that he, he's given it 100% um, on both ends of the ball. Um, he's their best perimeter shooter. I mean, you know, any time that you can add a double-digit score uh, to a team with two uh, big guys like uh, you know, Mickey and Martin, is, is, is very helpful. John, uh, Carl mentioned, too, that uh, as, as John did on the teleconference, that it's been a long season. John said he's going to try to give them two days off per week. And Carl said that helps the players. It also helps the coaches, he said, with a smile. Uh, how wary. Who said that, Carl? I mean, you know, we gave, we gave them off Sunday uh, after the game, um, you know, Saturday. And then what we typically will do is, uh, you know, on the other day is, is show film and do some individual work or get a lift in. But it's keeping them off their legs a little bit and, and cutting back, especially this time of year. Are the coaches uh, getting a little fatigued? Yeah. I mean, you, if you're not, if you're not at this time of year, you, you know, um, it, it's a long season, and uh, you know, we hope it continues a lot longer. So, but it, you know, every 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 coach in the country is in the same position right now, and um, you know, we just you know we're just getting ready for the next game. Two more guys. Have you seen Trey today? I have not seen Trey today. Um, you know, just uh, I'll see him here when we go into practice. Last one. Thanks. That's it. Thank you. Thanks,